I'm outside in Waikiki, so this is going to be a noisy video. My apologies. I'm using a Sony FS5 with the Sony 18 millimeter to 200 millimeter zoom lens. And I'm going to demonstrate a couple of features that Sony has on the FS5. Uh, one is center scan and the other is clear image zoom. The lens is now set for 18 millimeters and no features. Let me zoom out to 200 millimeters. We're looking at diamond head and that's a straight optical zoom on the zoom lens. I'm now going to show you clear image zoom which you operate from the handle of the FS5. There's a lever on top for telephoto and wide angle. Clear image zoom works on any lens, the prime or zoom. So here's clear image zoom at two power. On 1080, the clear image zoom is two power on 4K it's 1.5 power. So this is a digital zoom for you to compare with the optical zoom on the lens itself. Okay, I'm zooming back out digitally to 200 millimeters. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate center scan and I can't switch to center scan while I'm recording, so I'm going to stop recording and then come back on. I've now turned on center scan, which according to Sony, crops your field of view to the center of their sensor, giving you the equivalent of a two-power optical scan, not a digital scan. As I said, it's used only in 1080 and it can't be turned on while you're recording. Now, it still has clear image zoom, so I'm going to zoom in a further two power with clear image zoom. Now, I've added a digital zoom on top of the optical zoom from center scan for you to compare the quality of the image. So here we are with clear image zoom and center scan plus the 200 millimeter lens setting. So I'll let you figure out if I've got a 200 millimeter with a two power center scan and a two power digital zoom, what power and millimeters I'm at now. I have no clue. <laughs>